some of the linear programming examples have multiple optimal solutions. So let us understand how this happens. So let me draw a graph. Let me draw some constraints. So suppose this is our first constraint and this is our second constraint. And this is the third constraint. Suppose all these constraints have a inequality sign of less than or equal to and have the feasible solution in this direction as shown. So in that case, our feasible solution region will be represented by the boundaries that I'm going to draw now. So our feasible solution region will be represented by this, this, and this. So the points O, A, B, C, and D will represent the edges of the feasible solution region and the area enclosed by OABCD is our feasible solution region. Now the next step would be to draw the family of parallel objective function lines. Now when you start doing this sometimes you may realize that the family of objective function lines is parallel to one of the boundaries of the feasible solution region. For example, suppose I draw a series of parallel objective function lines. Now you'll note that these lines are parallel to the boundary BC which is represented by this constraint here. So one of the parallel lines representing the objective function will touch the portion BC of the feasible solution region. What that means is that all the points from B to C would represent the optimal solution. So one of the objective function lines would be like this and this portion from B to C will represent the optimal solution. Now again while we are solving such cases it is definitely easier to find the coordinates of point B and C which are the edges of this line and if you try to substitute these coordinates into the objective function you will find that both the points give the same cost or same profit or whatever we are trying to optimize. So both of them would be representing the optimal solution.